it's fair to say that wasp gardens give us so much joy on one hand, they can be a bit of a challenge on the other. A major issue, whether you've got a large plot or a few pots, is when your plants begin to struggle and lose their vigour. So what can you do about it? Well, I know just the place and the people that can help. Drop into your local Mighty Helpful Mighty 10 to get the right advice and products to help your plants perform their very best. Sun's a really important thing when choosing plants, Kim. It's, it's important that you get the right sort of plant for the right sort of light. And that probably is one of the, the main reasons we see plants fail in here, is choosing a plant that's not right for that spot in your garden. If you're looking for a full sun plant, Kim, something like a rose would be magnificent, of course, right up your alley. Citrus are great, osteospermums, lavenders, all of those plants like a good amount of sun. If you're looking for a shade plant, maybe try some fuchsias, um, morning sun or dapple shade. Again, the camellias are magnificent. Clematis, which are just behind us here, magnificent in shade. I love seeing those clematis. They're beautiful, aren't they? The flowers are amazing. And Amanda, what about watering? Some people like drippers, um, some people like to hand water with a hose, um, other people like to water with a watering can. If you overwater or underwater, you get yourself in a lot of trouble. So it's just finding that right balance that's really important. And what about indoor plants and watering? Yeah, indoor plants and watering is crucial actually. We would see most people fail with indoor plants with overwatering. So it's really, really important not to water to a schedule uh, with your indoor plants. Just water when they need it. Soil health and fertilising is the next thing you would look at. But the step before that, I think, really is soil health. So using products like Sea Mungus, Go Go Juice, and a brand new product, Kim, called Populate. And I've been trialling it in my garden. I think it's great. So this is a normal sort of growth you would expect to see on a Buxus hedge at this time of the year. But we haven't been seeing it on this hedge until we applied Populate. It's almost like go-go juice on steroids. It really picks up a plant that's been struggling. So if you've had something in your garden, maybe it's been in the wrong place, maybe you transplanted it at the wrong time of the year, or it just wasn't in good health, it picks them up and it gets them growing. Just one capful into a nine litre watering can and you're off. These are the Rephalifus that were really struggling. I'd moved them maybe two years ago and they had just sat there quite sticky. Popped some Populate on about six weeks ago and they've got new growth, which, which is exactly what they should be doing this time of the year, but it's what they haven't done for the last two years. So Neutrog's microbiologist, Dr Yui, has been all around Australia, Kim, and has collected healthy soil microbia and has put it into this bottle of magic, which we can then put into our gardens. And I think, you know, it's a great product and we're really lucky to have it. So can you use it on all plants? You can, Kim. I think that's the beauty of this product. It's great on sick plants, Kim, but you can use it across your whole garden. You can use it on natives, you can use it on shade lovers, sun lovers, indoor plants, fruiting plants. It's, it's very versatile. It's a really good soil improver um, and that's what you're looking for in a garden after all. Healthy soil, healthy plants? Absolutely. Absolutely.